Hey you guys, it's Megan. As always, I hope all of you are doing well. Today we're going to be going over a very hot, brand new item from Louis Vuitton, the mini bum bag. For any of you guys that may be interested in this piece, I'd love to give you a detailed review because I'm well aware that these bags do cost a lot of money and you want to know what you're getting yourselves into. So I do hope that I can provide a very detailed review. I will be going over what fits in the bag, mod shots, pros, cons, all the fun stuff. I wanna mention very, very quickly, my last video was an unboxing thorough review on the new speed ED20 in the Demira Ben. If you guys have not checked that video out, I highly recommend you do so. This is the bag right here, and oh, I love it so very much. I did receive quite a few comments from you guys in regard to this bag in comparison to the Speedy 25 Demira Ben, my opinions on that, and then also the Alma BB in Demira Ben. I will say this if you guys are interested in any of these bags, all three are beautiful. I own them and I'll be doing a comparison review, a thorough comparison review between all three in the Demira Ben. Because really at the end of the day, these bags are very expensive and you deserve to be 100% happy with your purchase when you make it. So of course, I'd be more than happy to make that video for you. It will be my next video, so please do be on the lookout. I'm really just going to jump right into it. But before I do, I have to put it out there for any of you guys that have not subscribed to my luxury community. I kindly invite you to do so by clicking on that subscribe button you see located right down there below on your screen. Also, by clicking that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So yes, you guys, we are talking about the beautiful new release Louis Vuitton Mini bum bag. From what I hear, if you guys did not pre-order this bag, it's a little bit difficult to get right now. But if you're interested, do not worry, do not fret. I've been in your situation before and trust me, it's just a matter of time before you can get your hands on this little cutie. Really, really quick, I will go over the details and then we're going to get into mod shots. So the bag is rather small, but let me tell you, Small packages do contain dynamite sometimes, and this is definitely a dynamite bag. <laughs> so you do have the pre-aged leather on the front right there. You have the inscripted Louis Vuitton Paris. You have a little zipper right here. You have a beautiful detachable gold chain. You have this pre-aged strap that is detachable as well, adjustable at that. And then you do have a zipper opening to get into the bag. This also features the beautiful gold shiny hardware, which I absolutely adore because it really does make the bag pop that much more. So on the interior, it is a microfiber. Love that, very, very soft on the hands. There is no back pocket, it's just plain canvas, which I don't mind. I think it's very, very pretty and lays very nicely on the body, I must add. When I invest in a piece, I really love to be able to wear it many different ways. And with this bag, you truly can. This is on the shorter side for a strap, but not to worry. If you're not a fan of a short strap cross body, there's always the option to use a chain extender. And you guys, I do use that with my Nano Speedy, my and on away and I find that those chain extenders really do give a pop to the bag so yes you do have the added versatility because this is detachable to wear the chain extender if you would like to wear this at a longer length cross body like I said you can wear this bag cross body and I thought of it I need to try on with you guys over the shoulder, that's a different look. Hopefully I'll like it, more versatility. You also have this chain strap to wear over the shoulder. And beyond that, unlike most bags, well, this bag is called the bum bag, so you could definitely wear it over the waist. I mentioned in the unboxing of this video that I'm not a fan of wearing any bags, any bum bags over the waist, not until I got this one. So are you guys ready? Let's go ahead, have some fun, try this bag on in different ways. And when we come back, I'll go ahead and tell you guys the pros and cons of this bag real quick. Also what fits inside exactly. So let's go do this. Let's go have some fun. It's always so much fun to try on a new bag in different ways. I'll be going ahead and trying this on as a crossbody. 
over the shoulder and over the waist. I'll also be trying on different straps as I go along, just in case you guys happen to own those straps to see the added versatility of this bag. I'll go ahead and start off wearing it as a crossbody. I do have it on the longest setting. As you guys know, there are additional holes and I can make it a lot shorter if I wanted to. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the longest setting and it does sit like this. Now I gotta say, with other bags, say for example, the Speedy Bandolier 25, I can't imagine wearing it at such a high length. It really gives off such a edgy and unique look when wearing this bag and the strap. I think that adds to the edginess of it. And if you guys could use your imagination just a little bit, if I were to shorten the strap, it would obviously go to about here, something like that. But I just think it's absolutely adorable. And yeah, I can't say enough. I do not wear bags at this length, but this one, exception to the rule. For any of you guys that would like to add more length to this bag when worn as a crossbody, and say, for example, you don't have any other strap to wear, you always have the option to wear a strap extender. And to show you what it looks like with the strap extender, I personally think it really does make a bag pop when you just have that extra gold in there. I'll go ahead and use the middle one just because it's in the middle and it gives a good idea and try it on and show you guys how it looks. So you guys can see additional length was added. If you'd like more length added, they do have a longer one. This was the medium size. But yeah, you guys, it's a wonderful thing. And if you didn't want the gold showing in the front, you can definitely have it showing in the back. So what I'm going to do now is show you the strap to my new Pochette Matisse East West. That's a monogram strap. You guys could basically get the same idea as to using the Pochette Matisse strap monogram. And let's go ahead and see how that looks as a crossbody. I really just can't get over the beautiful monogram canvas, the edginess of this bag. It's just really screaming, unique, classy, beautiful. Basically an abundance of positive adjectives for this bag. If I really wanted this to be a longer crossbody, I could go ahead and have it set at that length, which you know what? I think that's very cute. The versatility of wearing this bag crossbody at different lengths, don't you guys agree with me? It's amazing. Amazing. I love it. And that's all because of the size shape of this bag. It's absolutely amazing. One more strap that I wanted to try on for you guys is the one that came with my side trunk. I know a lot of you guys don't have this strap that comes with the side trunk, but going back to those strap extenders, you'll get the exact same look. So what I'm going to do now is take the original strap that came with this bum bag and wear it over the shoulder. And let me just see how I feel. You know what, I love it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. More versatility, you guys, it's wonderful. I didn't even think of that, really. With this bum bag, I was primarily thinking cross body or over the waist. So yes, you guys, it's like this. And if you wanted to extend it a little bit longer, you definitely could because this is on the second to longest hole. Maybe this will help me decide if I like the monogram strap or the pre-age strap with this bag. Let's go ahead and see. So it does look like this. This is on the medium setting. It can go quite higher and it can go quite lower. I'm just really shocked because again, I was thinking cross body and over the waist. And now I know I'll definitely be using this bag a lot over the shoulder. The added versatility is outstanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the original strap again and show you guys what this bag does look like over the waist. I've mentioned it quite a few times since I've received this bag that I'm just not a over the waist bum bag type of person. But this bag has truly changed my mind. And maybe, just maybe, if you guys are like me, you'll feel the same. So let me go ahead and grab that strap. I think it gives off a very edgy, beautiful, unique look. And yeah, you guys, I just find it to be absolutely beautiful. Obviously, you could go ahead and wear it on whatever side you'd like. You really just don't even feel the bag on your body, especially because it's small and it's not going to carry a lot of weight. I'm just going to remove the chain to show you guys what it does look like without the chain just a more casual look i guess you could say so again you guys casual look when worn like this absolutely adorable last look that i'm going to show you guys is this gold chain right here we're going to go ahead and try it on over the shoulder i have a bit of a feeling i won't be wearing it this way but let's see if i change my mind <laughs> so i went ahead and put it over the shoulder Honestly, I think it's very, very, you know what? Actually, 
I think it's very, very cute. I like it much more than I thought. Let me take this back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is a wonderful day. More versatility. Now this just popped to mind. I want to see if I could possibly use the chain that comes with this bag as a necklace. I turn my Versace necklace around. I really have no idea if this is going to work, you guys. But let's just try it together. We're trying to see if more beautiful versatility can be added. Oh my goodness. I love it. You guys, you understand? I just thought of this idea right now with you. <laughs> we did it together. So just think of it this way. If you get this bag, you're also getting a beautiful necklace from Louis Vuitton. I'm absolutely loving it, you guys. When making a big Louis Vuitton purchase, it's important to know what you're getting into. And I really hope that these mod shots helped you guys. Right now, let's go back into the other room and go over a quick list of pros and cons of the bag, and then also a quick what fits in the bag. Again, I hope these mod shots were helpful. Literally, that just put me in the best mood you guys i didn't think i could love that bag any more than i did and i just realized that i do i loved wearing it over the shoulder i hadn't tried it on like that i loved wearing the chain as a necklace more versatility for the bag absolutely amazing so let me quickly go ahead and show you what fits in this little cutie yes it's very very small but as i mentioned before small packages can contain dynamite and that's definitely the case with this bag so what i'm going to start off with is what i brought with me to the movies yesterday my essentials and i do have one of the biggest phones on the market this is the samsung ultra s23 i'm going to go ahead and stick it in there i did not bring my mini pochette just because if i do it kind of just takes up all space within the bag and it's not that comfortable so rather i just brought what i usually bring within my mini pochette and stuck it in the bag and that is a compact a lipstick and lip gloss and by the way some of you guys do ask me my makeup i always put that in the description box below so if you ever have any questions as far as lipstick this that that this <laughs> it's within the description box below i'll go ahead and stick in this lipstick this lip gloss also, I did bring my four key holder with me. And finally, I did bring a card holder. Now, I will mention this. This front pocket right here is not going to fit a card holder, but what it will fit is cards very easily. And I would say you could probably fit up to about 10 cards in this pocket. It's very, very useful. But yesterday I just decided to go ahead and bring my card holder with me. So I'll go ahead and zip this up and show you what it looks like. It's perfect, you guys. There is no zigzag going on within the zipper. I'll go ahead and show you again what I fit inside. So it was my four key holder with the fob. It was my compact, my lipstick and lip gloss, as well as my card holder. And finally, my phone. I love the fact that this bag can fit my phone. That's a wonderful thing. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and tell you the pros and cons of this bag. I fit all of my essentials within this mini bum bag, but my essentials might not necessarily be your essentials. So a lot of you guys might consider this bag to be small. And given the fact that it's a small bag, that could be considered a con. Another thing that could be considered a con is the strap length on this bag it is shorter like i showed you guys and i think a lot of people might feel comfortable wearing a different type of strap or wearing a strap extender so yeah the strap could be considered a con for this bag i really don't know why fashion houses do this but they do sometimes and i think to myself why 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 that's not necessary but this little thing right here does not move up or down so when you want to go ahead and adjust this bag it kind of sticks out like so, but there is a fix to it because when I tried this bag on with you guys, I just flipped it to this side. So it really wasn't that big of a deal. That could be considered a con, but because it can be fixed, it's kind of a halfway con. <laughs> also, I would say the last thing that could be considered a con may be the chain length on this bag. When I tried this bag on, I'll go ahead and do it again. Why not to make my point? But I didn't mention that some may find 
that this longer strap may be considered by some to be too long. But for me personally, I find it to be a pro, especially since I found out I could wear it as a necklace. <laughs> That's for sure. But yeah, I think it just hangs very beautifully. It does add a length to the bag because you are wearing it at a higher length. If you don't have the chain on there, then it just hangs like that. But it really just elongates the bag. So I guess, you know what, this could be considered a pro and a con. Now let's get into the pros of the bag. I would have to say the look, the look, the look, the look is the number one pro of this bag. When I try a bag on and I see that it stands out in a very elegant, beautiful, classy, and not overbearing way, it really, really resonates with me and it really just speaks to me. So because the look of this bag is so amazing, that's a huge pro. Also, the versatility of this bag, the fact that you can change the straps, the fact that you can take this chain off, the fact that you can wear this chain over the shoulder if you like, you can elongate it with a strap extender, the different straps that can be worn, the different lengths that can be worn, the different ways this bag can be worn. I mean, the versatility just goes on and on and on. I really don't even think that I own another bag, you guys, that has as much versatility as this one does. It's just stunning. And I guess this kind of goes back into that con, making it a pro. Because this bag is so very small, but I can fit my essentials, my phone, my cosmetics, my four key holder, and my card holder, that really means a lot to me, you guys. Just the fact that this bag can handle a phone, can hold a phone, that's a wonderful pro. It's a small bag, but it stands out beautifully, especially with this gold shiny hardware. The two biggest pros of this bag are so big to me that I cannot even see cons within this bag for me personally. Like I said, the versatility goes on and on with this bag. In combination with the look of this bag, I mean, we have a winner on our hands here. <laughs> I really couldn't recommend this bag more than I do. But again, everybody is different and everybody has a different lifestyle. This may be considered too small for some because we all carry different things throughout the day. And if you're looking for an everyday bag, this may be a little bit too small for you. It really depends on your lifestyle. But I will say you guys, I'm a huge fan and yeah, I couldn't recommend it enough. Also, when you purchase this bag, you do get a necklace. <laughs> I mean, really, I was impressed by that, you guys. Very, very impressed. So I hope this review was helpful. And if you guys happen to have any comments or questions, maybe something that I missed and didn't go over, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you're thinking about purchasing this bag, if you have purchased this bag, let me know your thoughts. I call myself a Louis Vuitton lover because basically if the shoe fits, you wear it. <laughs> I am and I love to know what you guys think. So yeah, any comments or questions, greatly appreciate it in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. Okay, so now is the time within the video where I'm going to completely transition topics from speaking about luxury to speaking about something that's more insightful, definitely more insightful, meaningful, and inspirational. Today, I'm going to go over the topic of your peace is your priority. When it comes to our peace, it's very important to understand this. Sometimes it may feel like it's just ripped away from us because say maybe somebody insulted us, we got our feelings hurt, we had a bad experience, we feel unforgiveness towards someone or anger towards someone, and we feel literally like our peace was stolen from us. It's important to understand this, you guys. Your peace can never be stolen from you. It literally has to be freely given away. Again, I'll say, <laughs> your peace cannot be stolen from you. You have to give it away. It is yours and you have every right to hold on to it. No matter what circumstances going on in your life, I should say negative circumstance, cannot without your consent be taken away from you. Your peace, in other words, your happiness, is yours, 100% yours. Whenever I feel that I'm giving away my peace, I know this simple fundamental principle rule. If I choose to live in the moment and concentrate on everything that's around me to be grateful for, I will keep my peace. That's definitely a tip, you guys, to live in the moment. That's not saying to not have goals and aspirations and work towards all of that. Of course you should. But it's very important to enjoy the moment that you're in. No matter what it is, 
that you're doing. You can find joy in it. If you have difficulty with that, just think back to when you were about four, five, six years old, and you were really just living in the moment. You weren't thinking about yesterday. You weren't thinking about tomorrow unless your birthday was coming up. You were just peaceful, happy, living in the moment. And I think we could learn a lot from children just because I believe their souls are closer to the heavenly dimension, basically because they were there not that long ago and they have a lot of light within their spirits. I think that's why children have so much innocence and goodness in them. Again, our peace is our priority. Again, life is very, very short. And I've said this, yes, I have, but God wants us to be happy in this life. He doesn't want us sad, depressed, arguing with people about certain perspectives and certain views. No, I don't think he does. I think he just wants us to live the very best lives we possibly can and to be a good example towards other people by living your life in such a way that people can learn from you. That's very important. I can say with my dad, for example, I mean, I've mentioned many times, you guys, within my channel, my dad meant a lot to me. I lost my dad, but he truly did exemplify. He didn't just talk about living a good life. He exemplified. He lived a good life. And by watching him, I learned a lot. It taught me to want to live a good life and not just talk about it. And obviously nobody's perfect, but I do think we should all aspire to be the very best versions of ourselves that we could possibly be. When you start the day, you're really setting the tone for how the rest of the day goes. So if you tell yourself that no matter what thing, situation, person comes your way throughout the day, that you're not going to allow them or that situation to steal your peace, that's really just going to set you up to win throughout the day and have a peaceful, happy day. Living by God's rules is a wonderful thing, not only because it brings you so very close to God, but it helps you to be a better person. It helps you to exemplify to other people how they should be in their lives and how they can be happier. When we hear of that peace that surpasses all understanding, how it comes from God, well, the closer we are to God, the more peace we're gonna have within our hearts because he is that peace that surpasses all understanding. He is pure positivity. He is pure happiness. He's pure love. Basically make a pact, a promise with him at the beginning of the day, how your day is going to go, that you're not going to give your peace away no matter what happens, no matter what you see on TV that irritates you. You're not going to give your peace away. Life is too short. We're smarter than that. <laughs> we know to live it to the fullest. We know to live it to the happiest. And that means keeping our peace our number one priority. So that is what I have to say on the topic of keeping your peace a priority. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions on that topic and or any comments or questions, oh my goodness, you guys, I do this. I forget about my bags when I'm speaking about important messages, but that's okay because that's exactly what they are. Important messages are more important than the bags but yes this beautiful mini bum bag i really hope that review was helpful to any of you guys that are interested in this bag any comments or questions on the message any comments or questions on this bag greatly appreciated i'm definitely looking forward to the next video you guys i told you it's going to be a comparison review between that bd20 and the demira ben alma bb demira ben speedy 25 demira ben it's going to be a good one. You guys don't want to miss it. Thank you so very much for taking the time to watch this video until my next. Yes, I'm very, very excited about doing it. And yes, I'm very, very excited about filming it. You guys take care and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye.